in this video, I'm highlighting three Kickstarter books that you should definitely get behind. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, previews, haul videos, and really anything you could think of. So if you're interested in comic book content from someone who just loves to create it, then I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell icon. That way YouTube actually tells you when my videos go live. Um, but anyway, now that all the youtube -y particulars are out of the way. Um, indie comics. So I've been reading a lot of indie comics lately. As you guys know, my pull list is out of control, right? Between the big two, I easily could spend like $60 a week. Um, and what that leads to, you know, me buying a lot of books and then having a newborn means I don't really have the time to read the books that I buy all the time right and so when i want to like just sit and read a bunch of comics instead of reading you know 30 issues of batman i tend to just pick up indie books right stray dogs uh uh firepower seven secrets like books like that where the world is kind of built for me really quickly uh we get to see some stakes and you know typically these stories are get in get out have some fun stories and i love that i love the the new format where everything is like a five or six issue miniseries um and you know they do that with the big two with like black label and stuff like that as well but anyway my point is i've been reading a lot more indie titles lately and you know we talk about indie books and usually when we're talking about indie books we're talking about honestly some really big publishers image comics dark horse boom uh even scout comics to a lesser extent right but there are really, really like some truly independent, like hidden gems books out there. And a lot of them can be found on crowdfunding services such as Kickstarter. So I have three books that I was given a bit of an advanced preview of that I'll get to share with you today to show you, you know, exactly what you can be getting off Kickstarter. And I think you should definitely check some of these out because they're really, really dope. Now, these three books are very different from each other. And I really think that between the three books on this list, there's something for everyone. So super excited to get into them. Now, the first book I want to highlight is one we've actually talked about on the channel before, and that one is called Here Comes Calico. So here Comes Calico number two um, is a book that actually was already funded on Kickstarter and you can actually purchase on demand right now if you go to SigmaComics.com. Um, but in case you missed my first review of Calico, I'll leave it up in the YouTube card. Calico um, is not your typical superhero. Calico is like the Punisher meets like Captain Planet or something. This dude is an advocate. He hates seeing animals abused like in any form or fashion like just that's just what it is if you're abusing animals if you're killing them for profit if you are you know torturing pets or leaving them for dead or anything like that watch your back if you're in the streets of new york because calico is definitely coming at you uh so issue number one um like i said i did a review i really enjoyed issue one um it was very much um subversive it kind of took away it it just kind of it went so left, so far left of my expectations. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect when you hear like, oh, a vigilante that fights for animal rights. Oh, OK. But nah, this dude fights for these rights brutally. He's a boxer who has like no money, but he does have this super high tech suit um, that he feels like the government's going to come after him for at some point. Um, and. In issue one, we kind of got glimpses of like this huge villain, like Dr. Claw. It's literally his name is Dr. Claw. Um, that we're probably going to get, you know, a huge showdown with later on in the series. This is issue number two out of an eight issue series. And in issue number two, um, we got a lot of interesting things, right? So we got some justification. You know, we, we learn how this dude justifies what he does to these people. Um, basically like, you know, they're bullies, so they deserve what's coming to them. So that's interesting. You kind of get some inner workings. You get to see a little bit more of uh, his neighborhood, how he interacts with his neighborhood. He doesn't live on a savory part of town and he doesn't always do very savory things either. You know what I'm saying? So 
Uh, we get some int uh, introduction to that. We get like a sort of red bird or red wing type sidekick tech thing um, that is really cool we see in battle. My point is we get more. We get more of what we got in issue one, um, but we still get like twists with, you know, I guess what is a semi-predictable format. Like we know that we're gonna get like something gruesome at the end. We don't know how we're gonna get there. Um, and it's still a fun book. The one thing that I will say though is this book, and it says it on the, on the book, um, it's for mature readers. This is definitely, there's definitely mature content in this book. It's not just the gruesome violence. Um, there's one scene in this book that I was like, I don't know that that was necessary. Like at all um but this is definitely not the book to get for your kids not even your teenage kids unless you like are reading it and screening it and somehow feel like some of those things are okay um but yeah with that said that's here comes calico number two definitely not like not something it's not like anything i've read in comics before i tend to like my books a little bit more pg but that's there we go Next up is a book that um, is not already out, but I got to get a little bit of a preview of it. And it's live on Kickstarter right now. Now, as of this recording, the uh, book only has six days left. So if you're going to get a copy of this book, you're going to have to get it like right now. But I'm talking about The Dust Pirates, which is by Kevin Cuff and Bob France. Um, but there's a whole creative team. They're just the writers. Um, but it's illustrated by Tony Gregori uh, with colors by Josh Jensen. There are a million variant covers, but what is The Dust Pirates? Well, The Dust Pirates is an 80 page graphic novel um, and it follows these two like swashbuckling heroes. They're basically transported into the town of Atlantis to save Atlantis from its like tyrannical dictator rule. Um, it's interesting, right? The dictator is controlling Atlantis by controlling the water supply. The water supply of Atlantis. So very, very interesting. So on the Kickstarter, it says this is for fans of Indiana Jones, uh, Conan, Flash Gordon, Starlight. What it reminded me of, I got to read issue one and just issue one, but it reminds me of that, um, that old animated movie, uh, The Road to El Dorado where you've got these two, you know, so-called heroes whose motivations may not necessarily be all that heroic, but they are just hilarious together. So um, our main characters, we've got Blackheart Sam Bellamy and his sidekick, uh, Quinator. And like I said, they're transported to Atlantis to free it from this rule, right? And it's just really cool. Like there's a lot of action, a lot of fun. It's funny like i love the dialogue between the characters and i love how they are trusting of each other like i said this reminds me of the road to el dorado for all the right reasons and maybe for a slightly more mature audience than that but really really cool um so as far as the kickstarter the kickstarter is still live right now and there are some awesome prizes like i said uh the word bros kevin cuff and bob kevin cuff excuse me and bob france they actually have written plenty of other books that were kickstarted including ninja nuns and metal shark bro and so some of the prizes for this kickstarter are copies of those books um, you can get a digital bundle you can get some of those books physically um, but then there's other really cool prizes as well uh, you can get a skull and crossbones pin that glows in the dark um, you could pledge as little as ten dollars and still get a digital copy of this trade or you can get the physical copy and What's really dope is this trade has six different variant covers. So you can kind of back to the level that you want to get the cover that you want, or there's a level where you can get all of them. So that's super dope. I think my pledge is like somewhere right in the middle. I think I'm pretty sure I pledged $50 on this one. But anyway, it's a really dope Kickstarter uh, by some really cool authors and the book is really fun like i said i got to read issue number one out of the trade and i'm really excited about it it's really dope so that is the dust pirates uh, like i said it's an 80 page graphic novel and the kickstarter ends in like five days so get on that i'll put the end date on the screen because i can't remember it right now now the last book that i want to talk to you guys about 
Um, it's one that's pretty cool. So obviously I'm a black guy, a black guy reading comics with an Afro, right? And so one of the things that I'm constantly looking out for are uh, stories featuring creative teams with, you know, African-Americans on them, or even featuring nice, cool African-American characters, black people, right? I like seeing myself in books. I don't, it's not a requirement. My favorite character is Batman, right? But there's a few ways that we achieve like this diversity in comics, right? The, the trend at the big two right now has been to kind of swap out characters for like legacy characters. So we got a new Aquaman coming out uh, written by Brandon Thomas and that's super dope. So of course that's one way to add diversity. Um, and that's typically what's done at the big two is, you know, you kind of swap out characters and stuff. But one thing that really gets is really dope is that when you can create new characters of color and new universes, and that's typically done more on the independent scale. Now that all that introduction's out of the way, enter Danny Quick and his creation, Ace Blade. So Danny Quick is a retired army veteran um, who loves comic books and he was creating them for a while under um, a different comics banner. That company closed, um, but he still got to take, take his creation, Ace Blade, and continue the universe. So this book is called Ace Blade Villain Season. This is issue number five of Ace Blade. So every single issue of Ace Blade has been kickstarted so far to varying degrees of success. This Kickstarter has like three weeks left and it's already fully funded. So you already know if you pledge in this Kickstarter, you're going to get a book. So that's really, really exciting. And congrats to Danny and the entire team over at Fourth Wall Comics for even making that happen. That's big. But Ace Blade Villain Season is issue number five in the Ace Blade series. And don't worry if you didn't read issues one through four. I didn't either. Because one of the backing levels that you can uh, achieve or, or, or back, pledge to, you actually get issue number five and you get the trade that covers issues one through four. So you can catch up on the entire Ace Blade story. This is a great jumping on point. But Ace Blade is a character who lives in a world full of superheroes, but he doesn't have any superpowers himself. Kind of like Batman, right? Except he doesn't have money either. And so that can put him into some compromising situations. And in this book, um, Ace Blade is kind of given the chance to make a lot of money that can really make a difference in the community that he serves. But in order to make this money, he might have to compromise himself. And the, the question that's raised in this book is, can you be a hero if you compromise your own values in the process? And uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. Um, but we probably got to read the book first, right? So again, this is a really, really cool creative team. Uh, we got Danny Quick, who's the writer. He also does the letters. Um, we've got JC Grand on uh, pencils, you know, artwork, basically. And Veronica Smith does the colors. Very, very cool. Now, as far as the prizes on this Kickstarter, one, this book just looks like an exciting book. I mean, like, there are so many characters. There's people like Ace Blade, this dude named Hammer Hands. Uh, who else? We've got Blackjack, Gutshot. Uh, there's just a lot of really cool characters. I love their designs. Um, and I really just love like the level of creativity that's gone into building this entire universe. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this book. So obviously I backed, I backed at the Loki level. I think it's Loki, um, but I backed at the, basically the $50 level or is it 60? But it gets you access to the book, the trade physically. Um, and one variant cover of your choosing. I got a t-shirt, but there are so many different prizes. I mean, you can get socks. You can get a skateboard deck. Uh, what else can you get? There's a slew of variant covers for issue number five, so you can choose the one you want, or you can get every single one of them. Um, there's a bunch of merchandise. There's t-shirts, there's hats, there's socks. They really put out all the stops, and if you don't because, you know, one thing with the Kickstarter is it feels like you got to back at like the million dollar level to get all the things you want. But what's cool about this is most of the Kickstarter prizes are actually also available as add-ons. 
So say you just want the digital copy of the book, but you want an Ace Blade hat, you can get that as well. So there's a lot of really, really dope ways to support. And like I said, this project's already fully funded, so you don't have to worry about like pledging and then not getting what you want. Go ahead and pledge with confidence. But that is Ace Blade by Danny Quick, and I'm really, really excited for it. So those all in all were three books that are on Kickstarter right now, with the exception of Calico, it's already funded, but be on the lookout for a Kickstarter for issue number three. Um, but those are three books that are on Kickstarter right now, available for you to purchase and back. Um, the Dust Pirates looks really, really cool. It's everything I love about comic books. It's fun, it's funny, it's humorous, um, and it's action-packed. I love that. Ace Blade looks like it's gonna be just super action-packed. Um, and I love stories where like the character really has to like choose their moral code it's the reason i love stuff like static right or the, you know the static shock tv show but anyway i've been talking way too long i'm really excited about these books i want to know what you guys think have you backed any of these projects have you read anything from the word bros or from danny quick before did you try out calico issue one what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to keep the discussion going, you can join me in the K-Squad group on Facebook. Huge shout out to HH uh, German, uh, Sigma Comics. Shout out to Danny Quick and Fourth Wall Comics. And of course, shout out to the Word Bros for letting me know about their projects and giving me the opportunity to spread the word. Hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Don't forget to check out the description for links to all of these Kickstarter projects. Peace. One thing that I am kind of always on the lookout for are more stories that are done by African-American creative teams or featuring, you know, really cool, interesting characters. It's part of the reason I'm such a huge fan of Milestone Media.